Hello and welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. We have popular Niger singer David Do, who has revealed that he's going to be his driver's best man at his upcoming wedding. The music star has no doubt has been known for his generous and kind ways, especially to his staffs, and many of them seem to love him for it. The top singer who is known all over the world and charges great fees to make, up great, make appearances and perform at shows recently made his driver a very happy man. As expected, the singer's revelation led to many interesting reactions. While some people congratulated his driver and praised him for his kind gesture, others pitched to become the um, singer driver. Um, and somebody even mentioned Ob Obio, Abi, I, how do you say Obio, I savvy driver just in case. And I'm with that Twitter man for saying that. I can drive as well. <laughs> now you see why I'm part of David O's FC. Yes, so. <laughs> so if I just yes, come so. and join us, like he's legit. Come, come on, and join the David O's F FC. Yes. Like, this guy is said. humble to the core. Mm. How many people do you see? How many artists are you seeing, have you seen that they want to be their driver's best man? And again, do you know what I mean? He has done. Like, he literally provides for um, for all the staff. Mm. Recently, he got his um, manager a new Rolex watch. Mm. Uh, one guy, he, did you see that tweet uh, that time on Twitter? When a guy told him that he lost his phone during his concert and he yeah. sent him, was it one million ever he got him a new phone? Mm. So I just love Davido's personality. Like, even though he's rich and, you know, some people, they'll just be arrogant with oh, it. Oh, yeah, so we know, so we know the people. Like, it, is like this with everyone. Yeah. So I had my David do. Absolutely. I think I fan. think it, that's something that you can't mm -hmm. really take away from him. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember because I mentioned on the table that I'm new to this David do clan. I just. I just Welcome. felt the music was a bit too pangolo <laughs> back then for okay. me. But, you know, I used to also always just observe him from afar that this man has something about him that you cannot take away. Even and that was his, in person. Even, mm -hmm. yes, and that's his heart. Okay. Uh, he's too real. Yeah. Like, it takes a lot of effort mentally mm -hmm. and spiritually to be that in tune with humanity when you're sitting on the kind of privilege that David is sitting on. There's people who have a quarter of a half. Like, take David's quarter. Mm -hmm. Divide that quarter into three quarters. And then take that quarter into <laughs> half. Some people are sitting on very tiny percentage of wealth and cannot, be, cannot imagine being seen with certain people. people. Not even more or less their drivers. So I like his heart. And not every, not, I don't think it's every time that his good heart comes out well. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to lie to you, personally speaking. On this particular matter okay. i'm just hoping that when he does what he does he puts um a lot of emphasis on crowd control because i think it would be a bit sad if davido becomes the star okay. of the of the man's Cold, wedding okay. that's happened many times before i have a very good friend i don't mention her name she's quite like big and like in terms of celebrity and whatever whatever and her best friend she's also my g um, wanted her to be the um, chief bridesmaid and she had to turn it down. I remember co her coming to my house it's ages ago, crying and stuff, that she wanted to be part of that wedding, but she knew that if she became the bridesmaid of my friend's wedding, it would no longer be about the beautiful union and it wouldn't be this okay, sacred you, thing and it wouldn't be this really beautiful thing and it's become about the celebrity. Okay. So I just hope that they are aware that there's that possibility of that kind of thing to happen but that does not take away from the fact that what he's done is a big deal and, and it's it, yes yeah, yes exactly i just like the fact that um marriages are um once in a lifetime you only get married once and then having the opportunity to have one of the best marriages of your life because a lot of people which you mentioned earlier would pay um a fortune to have yeah. a david doe to just that, not even to perform, to mm. just be present at the wedding. Um, but um, of course, there is the fear of, um, you know, David O still in the show, which I would advise that, okay, once you're done with your best man duties, you've supported them, you should leave the venue and let them just carry on with their. Leave the venue? Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, don't be, like you said, all the people who want to start taking pictures instead of taking, you know this, this mm. is something that can, so if you don't leave the venue, whether or not there is crowd control, there will still be people, they will be controlling the crowd while the wedding is going on. Mm. And there will be people trying to take pictures while the wedding is going on. There will be a lot of distractions while the wedding is going on. So what is supposed to be my best bet? <laughs> I know. Wed tomorrow. Yeah, I know it's tomorrow. Yeah, Birthday yeah. party. Wedding. Yeah. What is supposed to be my best day, right? 
turns out to be the day where I'm trying to get like, can we have some quiet? Can we have some peace? Can we have okay, some tranquility? Yeah. You get me? So I feel like um, at the end of the day, it's a good deed. Big shout out to David O. David O never fails when it comes to showing how humane he is when it mm. comes to being um, real with people and showing love. And big shout out to Toke Makinwa as well, who's a um, chef, just built a house. Yeah. And yeah, she was there, you know, she was the one that put it out there as well. So you see, we see a, a few of them doing these things and I think it's really, really commendable, especially like you said, someone of um, David O's caliber who is so privileged, who has almost everything he can ask for. And, um, is still still down to earth um i think it's commendable and i think it's something that should be um, i just hope your faves could say the same i don't know my what I know. I, i'm talking to the people though i don't mention anybody. that would <laughs> i hope your faves could also say the same anyway um I, I i was i would have said the opposite actually in regards to the whole um turning making sure that the crowds are secure is that i would have said it's easier for you to just attend the show because it's still a wedding you still want to celebrate mm -hmm. and if you don't come into your wedding it's not a problem I mean, that would even be more fun. Depending it's the on fact that he, that he is the best man is why I even felt like it was too much. So I was kind of taken aback when you said he should, not, he should leave after the time. Ah, okay, let's slow down. And I'm also thinking that if Davido is going to go for this guy's wedding, they're probably really close. Like, they have a relationship. And if you're the driver of someone, you know all his friends and all of that. I don't think if you crowd control and keep it to the people who actually know the both of you well there will still be the whole hey do you understand what i mean so if you if you actually get the list to be more intimate like davido's friends and um the driver's friends there's a chance they already know all of them already know each other so it's not going to be like you, all all of us randoms going there and just focusing solely on davido I, I think that that if you control that crowd then that issue will not be as prominent in the wedding either ways i just figure it out the events planners and the husband and it's the man that we even say i think i still think it's even a perspective thing like some people want their weddings to be to be overwhelmed by you know davido and all that they don't want any attention a wedding and see what savage was there let me, yeah let me tell you um the crowd were not really focusing on mm. Tiwa savage. Mm -hmm. and if you're trying to get too close you welcome me like mm. good afternoon how are you but if you're trying to like fan girl and mm. everything as security will tell you like please this is a wedding please go and, go and sit down yeah but i think yeah, yeah it's possible yeah okay let's move on cardi b will receive billboards woman of the year award at the 15th annual women in music event on 10th of december the rapper had everybody talking in 2020 when she released her hit single wap rap alongside megan the stallion while many have applauded the star for her achievement she has also been receiving backlash from some claiming that she only released one track this year in response to the negativity, Cardi B shared a video on Instagram saying, for you crybabies, like what? <laughs> Question mark. She only got one song. Yeah, I got that song, B word. You know, the one song that sold the most, the one song that streamed the most, the one song that had the Republicans crying on Fox News about it, the one that has a song that's about to be six times platinum in three months. Anyway, the rapper went on to continue bragging, saying that she had spent over a year, all the years um, keep using her platform and money to keep followers informed when it came to politics and the, and in the US, and um, they all ate it up and all of that. She went on and on and on. The 2020 Women in Music Award show would take place virtually this year and will be hosted by my girl, Tayana Taylor. <laughs> anyway, so um, it's interesting, Woman of the Year. I like her right up shot that okay. Woman of the Year, you only had one song, but that song was big. Or do you think she deserves it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, wahala. <laughs> Does she? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think woman of the year. Mm. Ha. How many women that did great things in 2020? Like you know how many doctors that were on the, the front line? No, we're talking about Billboard. Let's, let's well, relax music, on shall this. women in music? Let's relax okay, on okay, 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 okay. Let's the talk doctors about, here. No, let's talk about. Um, they even said music. Yeah, so I stand to be corrected on that one because they said woman of the year in music. Yeah, if it's in music, she deserves it. Mm. In music, yeah. Okay. I mean, she was that very one vocal song, I about. Liked her, I liked she was very vocal about a lot of things. She was very vocal about politics. She was vocal about her relationship with her husband. She was still very supportive when he tried to get arrested. She had a lot of things going on. Oh, in, 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 and that in, gives you woman of the in year you. in music. Well, there is no doubt in, that Cardi Okay, tell me what someone else in music that deserves it. Let's focus on Cardi B for yes, a second before, before we even compare because people. there's a lot of people mm -hmm. I can mention. There's Lion really? King sitting. Yes, there's Lion King sitting there. Yeah. Yes. Apart
Not for my album. What else did she do? Uh-uh. This lady mm -hmm. started a, 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 a fashion out. line, uh, what's it called, Ivy Park, mm -hmm. that basically and stood then the one for that the she culture. Did that Africa. She was there with for um, colorism. She put African's culture on mm -hmm. a map. Sure. Like, okay, what to call it? We can have a conversation on how she did it because even we somehow criticized that one. But her intentions were there. Mm -hmm. I told, oh, oh, should we bring in Lizzo? Lizzo that started Thank with you. nothing did body positivity. Or oh, are you going to talk about Katy Perry? Pregnant this or oh, oh, Nicki Minaj? All oh, I'm telling me that Nikki. Cardi B stood with a man that was cheating. So therefore, Ew, she deserves this. Be able, that she wants to, I'm confused, bro. Let's not even play like that. Uh, no, she doesn't really deserve it. I don't think she is not a good contender. I think her, like, she, she just, I just read it out to you. Mm -hmm. Six times. She was attacked. Six times is if it, what that, if, if that, I was trying to say like fine. There's no doubt that um, Cardi B is a very hard worker, and when it comes to promoting politics uh, oh, yeah. or supporting her fans, Even she's always number one with it. But there. let's not hide the fact that there's so many women that have done more than Cardi B as well. In music. Mm -hmm. Yes, especially in music. Especially in music, yeah. and I think that's the problem for me. Mm -hmm. Especially in music, you had one song this year. Like, okay, so if Billboard, who is a music base, is given an award for music, True. and you give it to the one woman who had one song, even the not two. Taylor, she, come on, Ta come on, come on, come on, please. If it's, We're talking if it's about music, numbers as well, you know. Yeah, that's that's all we, um, Billboard wants to say. Numbers. True. That's all that Billboard wants to numbers. say that it's numbers and. It, I'm not, like, is this topic is numbers, even she, yeah, she very had the confusing. She's she already the most... said it now six times. Nobody has gotten six times platinum in this year. But even the song, I'm sorry, I don't know what the world is turning into. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know, like, right? it's, it's, I, I don't want to sound like I'm contradicting myself because I really like women who choose whatever path they want and mm -hmm. they rock with it. Uh, but if I'm going to sprinkle a bit of person, my personal opinion into that, it's just like, eh, it's a song about WAP that. It becomes the song of the year. Oh, more man, like what did uh, the world turn into, man? I don't know, cause that, that song was a bit too explicit. Trust me, a lot of waps were the only thing that kept us going this year too. Okay, I don't think we need okay. to know that information <laughs> at, all. <laughs> at all. But CMI yeah, mm, mm, we're good. But anyway, I don't, I don't know if I really feel that. You know, like if I feel like that particular song, um, you know should be getting an award of the woman of the year. It really, I think it speaks a narrative that people don't understand because if you are going to crown Cardi B that sang one song about, <laughs> yes, yeah. the lady parts, okay. you're, you're, you're setting a standard because next year we're going to find more people following that suit, mm -hmm. which we already have. Megan Thee Stallion just came out with the whole, um, baddie, baddie, yeah, baddie. which is a banger, but I'm saying that's what it's going to become about which is not a problem either but i just hope that while we're creating this narrative we're also encouraging the other women that are not doing that the other women who are alternative who are more conscious with their music so at least let's have to even say hello well done we see you too because we're only going to be seeing the people that are speaking about a certain part uh, of the body, body. then like my, my question know. is this woman of the a uh, woman of the year what does the award stand for like mm. what? What is the criteria you must have before you can win this must award? Because be if it's, if you're talking about WAP, okay, <laughs> if it's about WAP, well, someone was a banger, sha. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, if you don't listen to the lyrics too hard, because I remember the first time I listened to lyrics, I actually moved one, one airport. There's like, a clean uh, version. There's a clean version. The case is a lot. <laughs> anyway, let's okay. just go on a quick break. There's still more in store. Don't go anywhere.